Hey guys. <laughs> Welcome to my vlog. Hey guys, my name is Jill Perkins and today we're gonna to be teaching you, I'm gonna be teaching you, just me, social distancing, how <laughs> to make skate wax in your own kitchen. So here we go. You're gonna need like a generous cup of paraffin wax because it melts down nicely and it's good consistency for the wax. You're gonna need two teaspoons of butter, one teaspoon of like a cooking oil or a kitchen oil. You're gonna need a crayon, something like a food dye, but crayon's the cheapest and easiest way to color the wax if you wanna add color. Something to stir the wax with. I like to use chopsticks because they're easy to wipe off and disposable if you have disposable ones. Um, and then a silicone mold or something to put the wax in so it can dry and harden overnight. I don't really remember the rest. Ugh. Next thing you're gonna need is a pot. Um, you're gonna wanna double boil this, so fill one pot or pan with about an inch of water and then you're gonna put the other one on top like so. Ta-da. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the paraffin wax to the pot. As the wax heats up, it's gonna melt and you wanna make sure you stir it. Now if you're using candles or tea lights, you wanna make sure that they're chopped, the finer they're chopped up, the easier it is to melt and you'll have it sooner. The next thing I'm gonna do is cut up a little piece of this crayon. Um, you don't need a lot, just add the color. Next up, I'm gonna add the crayon to the hot wax and stir it in until it takes its color. Feel free to add as much as you like to get the color you want. Then I'm gonna add the one teaspoon of vegetable oil and stir that in as well. Next up, you wanna slide the two teaspoons of butter into the crayon wax and give it a nice stir. Next, you're gonna remove the pot from the burner and you're gonna pour the liquid wax into your silicone mold so you can let it cool in your fridge overnight. <laughs> now that we've finished baking the wax, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator overnight, let it sit. Um, tomorrow we're gonna to take it out. I'm gonna take it out <laughs> by myself, social distancing. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're staying safe. I know a lot of places the skate are closed at the moment, so if you want to go wax up a curb or a ledge or something in your neighborhood, do that with the people that you're quarantining with or alone, six feet apart, stay safe. You got this.